We're also following developing news at the U.S. Supreme Court, where justices questioned lawyers today about whether the state of Colorado can disqualify former President Trump from appearing on that state's primary ballot. Skyler Henry has the very latest for us tonight. Conservative and liberal Supreme Court justices alike seemed very skeptical of Colorado's Supreme Court ruling that former President Trump is ineligible to be on that state's ballot due to his connection with the January 6th insurrection. What's a state doing deciding who gets to, um, uh, who, who other citizens get to vote for for president? Colorado relied on Section 3 of the 14th Amendment implemented after the Civil War, which says no person shall hold any office who took an oath as an officer of the United States, but then engaged in an insurrection. The framers were concerned about charismatic rebels who might rise through the ranks up to and including the presidency of the United States. The thing that really is troubling to me is I totally understand your argument, but they were listing people that were barred and president is not there. The justices largely avoided arguments about whether the former president engaged in an insurrection on January 6th, focusing instead on the ballot access. I think they are headed towards a fairly consensus ruling on what power states have to resolve this matter, but it could set us up for a big political uh, discussion later on. That's because former President Trump potentially still faces criminal trials surrounding the events of January 6th. We could have a lot of discussion and potentially disruption around the idea that Donald Trump, if he won the election in November, he might not be qualified to serve as president of the United States. Speaking outside of his Mar-a-Lago home, Trump called today's hearing another form of election interference. You have millions of people that are out there wanting to vote, and they happen to want to vote for me. The court is expected to issue its ruling in the next couple of weeks. Skyler Henry, CBS News, the Supreme Court.